Hello everyone, I'm Sunil Jain. I'm an app developer at TACVIT and today we are going to have a look at an interesting package. We are going to have a look at the Tatsi package. Tatsi package has become much more popular among the developers recently. If you come from programming background like Scala, you may know about functional programming. And that, that's exactly what Tatsi promotes in Dart. It provides many features like option, tuple, lens, either, which makes it very easy to do functional programming in Dart. In specific, today we are going to have a look at the either class. Either class is very useful for data management. Now, let's try to understand by an example. Let's say if you have an API, you're calling it from a function, right? So you have two options which that function can return. Either the data which it got from that API or an error. Mostly as developers, we tend to neglect the errors. We don't handle them. If you want something strict that I want really, I really want to handle that error with clean syntax, we can follow either. Either provides two things, left and right. As you can see, as you can understand by the name itself, either left or right. So either we keep in left the error or the data or in right the error or the data. The whole concept over here, which we are going to follow is we are passing either the error or the data and we and we handle both of the cases in the front. Uh, in the front end easily. Let's try to see how these things work by an example. So let's get started with our app part. Oh yeah, I have put together a very basic small app. What it does is every time we restart the app, it gives us a new cocktail name along with the recipe we can use to make it. So it's a very simple app. Uh, if we it starts with in each day where we call the initialize page. The initialize page over here awaits the API dot get cocktail, which I have defined over here. So what get cocktail function does is it pings on this URL uh, and gets a random cocktail. It only returns us one single random cocktail at a time. Uh, after that, we are decoding the body. We are getting the array drinks and the drinks array as it contains only one cocktail will we are just returning it directly over here we are then receiving the response from the cocktail uh, we can also say like as one of the drink we are assigning it to the drink and then we are showing it over here the drink title and the drink instructions over here we have also defined the loading part so let's say till the time the API takes to fetch the drink till then we are showing a circular progress indicator and when the loading is done we are setting it over here to false along with the drink which we are assigning from the response and then we are printing the title and the instructions. This is a very simple app which I have put together to show you how that how the error can be handled in a much more better way in the UI part. So now let's try to convert this method over here into the either, with either. So firstly, let's import package dot g slash dot c dot dot. Okay, we forgot to close it. Yeah. Now over here, we, we will say this method returns either a dynamic or for now, let's say it will return a drink or an error. For us, the drink is of type dynamic and for the error part, I have written a, we put together a small code. Uh, over here, we have a cl abstract class failure and then we have a server failure which implements the failure. Uh, I've done this in this way because the failure can be of many types. So let's say we can keep the network failure, cache failure. We can easily do it by copy pasting the, 
uh, server failure and implementing other things. Now uh, let's then replace the error with the failure part. We need to import it. We'll do failure dot dot. Yes. So now this function says that will either return a drink or a failure. But how shall we tell which side are we going to return? Are we going to return a drink or failure? How would the function know or how would someone outside know it? So we are going to say return right left of drinks. Yeah. So what do we what did we do here? We said that we are going to return the left part of either which we have defined above over here under the cursor and the left part is the drink part that is our dynamic. So we are telling it exclusively that we are going to return the left part. Now in the UI mm, So let's try to restart the app and see what happens. And we caught an error. It says class left dynamic of failure has no instance. This the str drink was called on an empty array. We have this on main.6126. So let's go to 61 line. Over here, we see it's not a the it's saying that drink is not an array or is an empty array. So let's try to go to the definition of drink. We have over here dynamic and it is initialized from the response. So let's say uh, let's see what the response type is. Over here we can see that it's either either dynamic or failure. That is either drink or error. So now drink is beforehand we got the drink uh, json but right now we are getting something of type either so how do we get our drink how do we tell uh, how do we extract the drink from the either so for this darcy provides a very good a very good uh, function which we can call very easily saying resp dot fold this dot fold takes two methods. Each method has a single argument. So over here. Now what is happening over here is when the risk receives the either, it says whatever will be the case. Let's say if it is if we pass on the left part, then it will channel it through the left. That is L. Over here, we can see that it is of type dynamic. Or if we pass on to the right part, then it will be given to R. If we check the type of R, it is failure. So this is how it works. This just acts as a starting tunnel and it divides into two, either the left part or the right part. Now, so what we want is, we want to take this and keep it only in the rear. L part because that's where we'll receive our drink. Now this is done. Let's try to restart the app. Over here we can see, yeah, we get for word car Russian. Let's try to restart it again. Much single. So it's working perfectly. Now let's try to handle the other case the part where we receive an error. So to receive an error, let's go to the loading bool. Let's define one more bool saying error. We'll set it to false initially. Uh, over here, if there's an error, what we'll do is, we'll not set the drink, but we'll set error equals to true. Then we can make changes over here that when the loading is done, I want to check if error is true or not. If the error is true, I want to show the text error 
or else you can go ahead and show the title and the instructions for the drink. Let's reformat it. Nice. Now let's try to return an error. Over here, instead of returning left of drinks, let's forcefully return an error. How? So we'll say right and then we'll return that there was a server failure. Now let's try to restart the app. We restarted the app, it's loading and we see that we receive an error. So you saw how simple it is to convert, to, to take your existing code base and shift to either and still make the code much more readable. Over here, we are forced to, we were forced to handle both of the cases. So it became very easy for us because uh, normally we tend to neglect error cases. Uh, over here also, one, one can always do something to neglect the error cases. I can just uh, delete it over here and ignore it. So the error case will not be handled. But we were at least brought to the point where we were taken to consideration the right part. This is where uh, either helps us a lot. If you have any other doubts, please free to ask in the comment section. Thank you for your time.